seven of nine Tulsa City Councilors will sign off tonight at their very last meeting. Tuners reporter Brianne Pomerini talked with two about the experience. Well, the last two years have included a major budget deficit and some public discord with Mayor Dewey Bartlett. But the two councilors I talked with say it was worth it. Two words sum up this experience for Democrat Chris Trail and Republican Rick Westcott. Frustrating and rewarding. You see a simple solution uh, that in the city pro process becomes very... Um, complicated. Being involved in long-range planning for your hometown is about as good as it can get and I have enjoyed it very much. Three-term councilor Rick Westcott decided not to run this time around. Through his six years on the council, he noted the last two were the most difficult to get things accomplished. All of our previous mayors in the last 20 years or so totaled have issued four vetoes of council actions. In two years, Mayor Bartlett has issued about 15 or 16 vetoes. Councilor Chris Trail was voted out during the primary. This was his first time being a councilor. The start of his term marked one of the worst budget deficits in Tulsa's history. In the first year, I feel like we were so focused on taking care of basic services that we weren't able to do uh, some of the other things that, that, that I wanted to do. Finding a solution is one of the things these two councilors are most proud of. The council found a way to reallocate existing money without increasing fees anywhere and pay for putting both helicopters back in the air, turning all of the street lights back on. It's one battle the new class of counselors won't face when they take office. If the economy is good and, and we're not having to cut off services and we're going to have to close parks and pools and stuff, I think that alleviates a lot of pressure right at the top. If any problems exist between the new city council and Mayor Bartlett, I think it's clear where the fault is going to lie. The new counselors will take their oath of office on Monday and immediately following will have their first meeting. Live in downtown, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News works for you.